Hi! Oh my god, okay, let's it again. This is my real life tech profile of my Star Trek on a Southboard Hunter. This is the tech that's going to be my temporary main tech until I'll uh, finish uh, my rank up version of this tech. But it won't be finished until I get uh, number 101. So, yeah. And of course, after that, I'm going to uh, go uh, to either Sharks, Rank of Periodic Beast, or, or Prophecy. But yeah, that's in the future. So, let's go at this deck. First, two Star Stone Assault Mode. Of course, the good negates everything. But of course, really, that draw, if you draw it. Then, free assault beast. Of course, that's what the assault mode activate. Then, free Thunder Sea Force. We must uh, you discard this card, then add uh, two. Uh, there are four light fauna type monsters with uh, 1600 attack or less with the same name. So, yeah, but you cannot spell someone that turn, you know, activate this effect. And you pretty much uh, can also, of course, uh, add two of the these as well. So, yeah, really important card to this deck. To say out there everything pretty much. Then, Dream Hunter, which must have double summoner. Must be then you can uh, uh, normal summon a set, one uh, light level 4 partner type monster. I should teach you normal summon. And then Bahanda, which has pretty much the same effect as Mahanda. Then two Fist Hunter, then normal summon, then you banish one uh, level 4 light partner that must be 1600. Attack all of this, and then you can in the end phase you can take back to the hand. And even if uh, uh, this hunter is not on the field anymore, even then you can get the card back, which is very really nice. And then the main tune of the deck a free Vion Prism. You make clever eight swing cross with this, with this card, so um, uh, Star Stagon is pretty easy to make. And then the last one is one honest. And the spell cards. Two Porto Aite. Of course, really good. That gives a uh, deck more consistency. But I don't run three because I uh, sometimes need to spell someone. Because this deck is uh, sometimes a little slow. Then, two recycling batteries. We must add uh, two um, Final Time Monsters with uh, 300 or less attack. To the hand, so we must have salvage for the deck. Then, two Fobian lads to protect um, my place. Then, three Mr. Pistaful for back to the removal. Book of Moon, that's just good. I don't have anything else put it, put it right now. Then dark hole. Then taps to a summon activate. Of course, to summon out uh, your star star assault mode. But I only run two because uh, you don't really want uh, too many of these in your hand. Then swarm warning. Bottom trap hole. Don't say vacation twice. Transal Tribute, Mirror Force, and uh, 2 Change Chain. Now the Exo deck. Unfortunately, I have a few important rank for Exis monsters missing, like number 101, uh, Exitonite, and uh, as well as uh, Constellar Omega and uh, Starless Paradigma. Uh, I'm going to get uh, Constellar Omega and Starless Paradigma next month, probably. But number one and one and excellent night are going to be a lot more harder to get because the fact that they can, uh, um, number one and one is like sixty dollars and uh, extra night 
it was almost a hundred percent very insane so let's call this next click oh, free star dragon of course so it's just star dragon that's not some attack so you have to run free then red time rushing with while on prism it's a 4000 attacker I kind of forgot, forgot to mention the one prism threat that uh, if you if it's uh, sent from, from the master god of sun to the graveyard, you can pay five life points to equip it to a monster, and then uh, the monster gains a thousand attack in damage calculation. So yeah. then um, scrap dragon, of course, really good for uh, removal, and of course, combat well with uh, violent prism because it can just uh, destroy the one uh, uh this is a group too. Uh, that scrap dragon or some other monster. Then put our archman, very good. This can be attacked by spells or traps and just pay thousand. And it's just a really good monster to destroy a monster back with that card you can gain also life points, so really good. Now the XT XT's monsters are on the number one or two, stars of sentry. It's a uh, pretty good only uh, free material rank for a run because you can summon this in here. It requires um, free level for lights and uh, you can detach one exist material then negate uh, a monster's, monster's effect and then uh, the monster's uh, attack is also hard. So really good and then if this face up uh, card will be destroyed, you know, that's uh, all of its exist materials instead. So, pretty good, but unfortunately outclassed by Starless Paladin Armor. Then, I'm afraid I'm a top, of course, best ever. <laughs> then, Black Sip of Corn, of course, if you get, want to get rid of something like Zen Mains. Number 8 for Grace Box, just um, if I run it to Skill Drain or something. And Gemma Pearl, 2600 Peter, get us over some like stars or things like that. Put on Butterfly Assassin, pretty decent and for and for. I will definitely replace it with something else if I would have those cards. And Diamond Tarable, just for removal, just in case if I want to get rid of something. Then Master of Symphony Chain, still pretty good, even for number one and one is better. And then the last six monster, Kakaobe for 800 burn or get rid of even some can destroy battle but with some broadband monsters. So this was my uh, rank cup no and it was Star Strike on South Mode um, Hunter the tech profile. So I hope you enjoyed this tech profile. For now, goodbye and oh my chaos out.